the fuck out of here. I just ran across this dude. I don't know if he wants to race. You hear this? Okay, you might not hear him in the back. You might not hear him in the back, but. I'm a I got big cars. Charge. I got big cars. Charge. Sure you I make good noise. Noise. I got big toys. Hater. Destroy. First Search. trip, y'all. Rewards. My nigga. I be on that block flexing. Nigga, we next in. Reckless. I get reckless. Half a million dollars or my diamonds on my necklace. Hammer. Can't touch this. Jesus can bless this. Ten on my checklist. Twenty on my checklist. Oh, yeah. And it's 350. But why would you want it to go this fast, man? Before we start, yeah, man. Too light. <laughs> guys, we are back. We are back. We are back. I don't know how I keep running across this stuff, man, but you'll never guess what I just ran across. I'm going to give you a real quick walk around, then I'm going to introduce you to my man. Let's check it out. That's yeah, a 2001 Plymouth Prowler. 2001 Plymouth Prowler? Yes, sir. So, what's your name, man? My name is Richard Madrid from Luxury Car Club. Luxury Car Club. You got a YouTube, you got an Instagram. <laughs> Shout it out, man. No, I ain't got none of that. I got Facebook. That's it. I'm old school. <laughs> he said, I'm old school, man. <laughs> so, hey, man, tell us a little bit of what you did to the car, man. Uh, the custom, it used to be a pearl, but now it's a candy tangerine. A candy tangerine? Wow! Woo. Yeah, all the plastics have been chromed. Okay. Uh, and then I see a, a lot of this detail. Let me get out the way here so we can get it in the sun. I don't know if you guys can see the etching detail right here in the rim. Yeah, he got this thing clean. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was done by Mike's Engraving. Mike's Engraving? Yep. No a kidding. Local, he's a local guy here. Okay, and he did, he did all the engraving work on the car. Did he do the uh, plexiglass too? I did that actually. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm going to definitely love it. The murals were done by Daryl Roke. Daryl Roke? Yeah, he's the They're, one that did the bodysuits for Predator. No kidding. He did the face masks for uh, aliens. Guys, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. If you looked at the level of detail in this car, I yeah. had to stop him and take a look, man. This is a uh, hydro dip. That was hydro done. dip. Yeah, that's where What's they that? get. Uh, they get the paint. It's on rice paper. Uh huh. And they put it in water, and then. Uh, they get this uh, spray and they spray it on and it actually uh, gets rid of the rice paper. So just the paint's in the water. Oh. And then you dip it in. No kidding. You can do any part of your car with it. Do y'all see the level of detail in there? And guys, guys, man, it's a beautiful car from front to back, but he just got stuff everywhere. What is that? That's a cold air induction. It's actually for a motorcycle, but... Uh, it, it, my, uh, my uh, air induction is right there, so uh -huh. I went right into it. So you put that on yourself, or how? Yeah. Did, no and kidding. Bobby Padilla, local guy here too, he cut the louvers in for me. Oh wow! And them louvers, you had to get them done before the paint them are clean. How yeah. long have you had this? Uh, about six, seven years now. Six, seven years. Yeah. And these guys, can you see the, the custom etching in here? All of that has custom etching on it. All the murals have gold, uh, uh what do you call it? Gold leaf. Oh, yeah, he got gold, gold leaf on it. all of them. The nose part was just done. And that, Woo! Was, that was done by Heavenly Karma. She's a local art, artist here, too. Heavenly Karma. You can find her on Facebook if you want work done. Uh oh, I think I might have got somebody trapped in there. Oh, he got it. They got it. They got it. I have somebody trapped in my bad y'all. Hey guys, but you know when I see a tight car, I can't stop, man. So Heavenly Karma, man, they did the front, the whole front end, or the yeah, painting on it. The, the murals. Jeez! Yeah, Look just... at the carpet. Ah, that is clean. And this is my youngest daughter and my two grandkids. So this is you actually had your kids painted on the car. Well, because she's gonna get the car. Now, and, I have you... five daughters. And I got a bunch of vehicles, so I don't want them fighting over it. So, what's your favorite car? Is this? I got a '69 Buick GS 400. A '69 Buick GS 400. I just did a frame-up restoration on it. I've owned it 35 years. I bought it when I was stationed at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Super Show is going to be here. I think it's March. The it's Super Show. Well, it's a Super, it's a super, uh, super Show. I they want a, one, any car they have one in Springs too. Is that right? Yeah. If you look up, if you look up uh, luxury, uh, well, if you look me up, Richard Madrid, 
Richard Madrid. I've got a luxury page, uh -huh. luxury car club, and I post all the car shows, Denver, Springs, uh, Pueblo. No kidding, because that's all. That matter of fact, let me ask you something, only because you're a car guy, man, and I love this. But we just grabbed this. My wife basically said we could do whatever we want to do to it as long as I get my subscribers up on my YouTube channel. It's a 2021 Dodge Charger Sky Pack. Man, go ahead, man. Let's check, check this out, man. Have a seat in here, man. It's brand new. I think it got a, I don't even know how many miles it got on there, man. Go on, have a seat in there, man. Tell them how many miles is on the dash. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So now you three thousand or three thousand. Yeah. Three thousand three hundred and ninety-seven. So yo, you're a man. Guy, it smells good too. <laughs> I love that leather. Well it's suede. Oh it's is all it? yes, yeah, all suede. Oh it is. All all wow. this is suede. It's all suede and Oh my god. So let me ask you this, man. What would you do to this? What would you do to this car? And I'm only asking because you did a fantastic job with that one. So we're, if, if we're walking around, man, and we're just talking about exterior, man, because uh, I don't want to ruin the warranty. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry the car is so dirty, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but what would you do to her? I'd probably do some pinstriping. I swear to God, we was thinking that. The race, we were thinking the racing so many, stripes. You got so many lines on it, you know what I mean? Yes. Bring out, them, bring out that line. They just bring, bring it in? Lines. I mean, you got, look at that. It's aerodynamic, you know what I mean? Yes, it's yes. Like Yes, that most definitely makes sense, man. I well, mean, hey. You see a lot of these cars and they look like a box. A box, a brick. Yeah. That's how they, yeah. this actually, and not only does it look good, but it has the function to go along with it. It goes fast just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> he said it goes fast just sitting there. She yeah, sounds I'd, angry, man. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd check on the grills. So you can get the inserts in chrome or gold or whatever you want. That would be a good one. <laughs> so a custom grill, I wanted to get the, uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if you guys know this, but they have a uh, uh, they have a Hellcat grill that actually fits on this model car. Yeah. That has the two air intakes right here and right here. And I wanted to get a custom uh, Scat Pack B. Oh, you can get those. Yeah, them are them are pretty easy. And then, uh, uh, like he was just saying, now he was saying pinstripe. I'm thinking racing stripes oh, only yeah. because you know the, the rally racing stripes. And check this out. This is uh, something to highlight this stuff. Yeah, because that's what. When when this car pulls up behind you, it looks it looks ferocious. It looks it looks mean, man. It looks mean, especially with them big huge get an tires. Under, get an underglow kit. You would do the underglow kit. Yeah. Now I I'm gonna keep it hundred. I mean it's for. I night. wanted I wanted to do the underglow kit. My thoughts on there. Everybody has one, and I'm trying like uh, even the B. You know how a lot of people got the. Uh, a lot of people got the big B. Right. That right. they'll put across the side. Yeah. And I do love that. My thing is, uh, everybody has it. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, that's what I'm trying to like. The, the one thing, and I've seen this car three times. You know how I know I've seen this car three times? Uh, Ain't another car like it. Right, right. Ain't another car like it. Well, I've seen this car three times. SRT, baby. Well, a lot of guys got it. SRT the Club. Let's see if he's going to smoke it for us. He might smoke it. He got the Grand Cherokee. That's an SRT. That's an SRT, baby. Yeah. yeah. Woo, that's I what I got. That's a SUV like that. They make a couple of them, man. They got the tricock. I was thinking about getting the tricock actually. I like this. Yeah, man. I'd it, like that up. Oh, throw some lights coming out of there? Yeah. It's now size. this is for the brakes though. It's, it's actually functional. To it, cool it. The cooler brakes, but just having a couple lights back there wouldn't it, it couldn't hurt it that bad. That's actually a good idea. To light up uh, right here yeah. under the car. And then uh, another good place that I'm thinking, I don't know if you've seen them, man, but uh, they got a couple places where they got the, the LED that comes out of here yeah, yeah. and out of here and out of there, out of the bottom. And the two side pieces too or no? Yeah, yeah. And it just, you turn them on and it just looks like the whole engine is in, on fire. fire yeah. yeah. <laughs> see that fire coming behind you. We got, get out the way. I do be scaring the shit out of people on my, <laughs> on my youtube channel man you gotta check it out man is you gonna subscribe to the channel tell the people you're gonna subscribe man i'm least, gonna subscribe he said i'll, I'll do it right now Masters, man how do you keep this fucker so clean in pueblo garage <laughs> i garage. just actually broke it out it's been sitting because of the winter oh is that right and you said ooh, 
Guys, I'm so sorry, guys. If you just seen the level of detailing on this. Yeah, it's kind of dirty right now, but. This one of the cleanest cars in Pueblo. And this front, this front scoop. Oh my God. I hate that. Oh I, my God. I get it on the highway. After 100 miles an hour, it gets real. Bouncy? And it's spooky. Guys want to throw V8s in them. It's got a V6. Uh-huh. It's got 253 horsepower. Weighs a little over 2,000 pounds, so it's like I feel like I'm gonna take off. Uh. But I put the splitters, the down planes, and the uh, diffusers on there, uh -huh. and they actually hold that front end down. Nice, nice. That, yeah, I made those. Guys, check this out, guys. You guys might want to take a look at that right there. That's what it's about. Hop on YouTube. Uh, excuse me, hop on Facebook, take a look. As he said, he's going to have all the uh, local car shows coming up, and we're definitely going to want to check them things out, man. Hey, oh, he put a camera up there. That's tight. <laughs> he put a little reverse camera for that. Okay. You got the underglow on this one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. You did it yourself? Yeah. Man, that's you did most of this yourself, huh? A lot of it, yeah. The paint and stuff like that, I got artists. Man, well, check this out. Look at these headlights. Look at the way the headlights just bulge. <laughs> oh, that is clean. The way them headlights just bulge out of there, guys. I'm a guinea drawer, though. I'm yeah. not open like that. My friend has one in Denver. A silver. Oh, I damn. I've had this for a while. Yeah, I made yeah. the speaker box. It was just flat, straight across. Oh. And my friend did the murals on it. Guys, he got the little tweeters coming out and everything. Yeah, it was, man, just straight, I, it was just flat, straight across. I'm not gonna lie, man. Uh, I, I, you do good work, man. I got a, a Mercedes. I got a, a, actually a SLK 350. Oh, here, let me give you a. Yeah, I'm, I'm, me and my, me and my wife want to check that out. This is the guy that painted my cars. We couldn't find any painters here in town. There you go, brother. We found us a painter, guys. We and found us a painter. The, he knows the the the, the, mur the mural artist personally. Is that They're right? Good friends. They, he, she uses his garage sometimes. Because that's what I'm trying to, man, I'm this car, man, I am going to be flexing in it for a quick second. We're, we are going to smoke the tires. We're going to do some burnouts. <laughs> we're going to do some real fun shit. Uh, but then we're going to put a sexy wrap on it. We're going to tag it, do the YouTube thing. We're going to park it to the side. And we're going to go get a brand new one. <laughs> so we're, I, and I'm thinking about getting a Hellcat. What do you think about Ubering in the Hell? You know I'm Ubering, right? You know I Uber in this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, like, you are. <laughs> I'm Ubering on this thing right now, as a matter of fact. Let me check and make You're sure. Live. Oh, wow. I, you see this Uber, guys? You see this Uber, guys? Yeah. I'm Ubering in this That's thing right at. now. And guess what? If I find somebody willing to let me pick them up in this thing, I'm going to go scare the shit out of them. <laughs> this car definitely speaks for its fucking self. How many horse? You said this, what, 280? Two. Let me see. I got to look at the front end again. It doesn't matter because it's, it's it's so light. 253. 253. It's the same engine. You got it engraved on the front? Yeah. It's got the same engine as the 300M. The three, oh, nice. It's the exact same engine. Watch. I'll oh, 253 it. horsepower. Oh. You guys see that? That is tight the way he did that. Oh, guys. He's going to pop it now. You know he done caught my full attention now. Oh, here we go. Woo. Look at it's that. It's a little dirty, but Pueblo's you a dirty. See that? Ooh. Guys, you know, most I, gotta, of this, I gotta do this. This I got it all made at Elmer Sheet Metal. At Elmer Sheet Metal. He actually made the Elmer overflow. Sheet Metal. He also made the overflow, the radiator this shroud right and all that for my 69 Buick. Did he do these down? Wow. Yep. Do you guys see the level of deep? It's dirty. It's dirty. You hear this guy? It's dirty. <laughs> Look at this. And he just had it sitting around in his garage. What is it that you do, man? You just got these toys like this, man. <laughs> I'm I mean, a disabled veteran. Oh, there you go, man. I did 13 years. And now you got time to sit around and play with them? Yeah. Man, and I lost the skull on this side of my face. So. Oh, that's not a good I'm sorry to hear that. But I will say this real talk. My dad's military, and I do appreciate your service, oh, man. I appreciate uh, your support, my, man. man, I'm not going to lie, man. I love the graphics. <laughs> I'm going to have to get back to work, man. Real talk. Look at this thing. <laughs> hey, you keep it easy, man. I love this car, though. Hey, 
Y'all know I'm a car guy, man. I can't keep this guy all day, so I'm gonna have to wrap it up. But once again, thanks for rocking with your boy. Y'all know the algorithms. Smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and for the love of God, share the damn video. Look, if you love your mama, like this video right now. <laughs> And go to Luxury Diamond, man. Look up Luxury Diamond, man. You won't be disappointed, man. Until next time, let's get it. I'm out here with the bars. Charge. I got big cars. Charge. Sure you I make good noise. Noise. I got big toys. Hater. Destroy. First Search. trip, y'all. Rewards. My nigga. I be on that block flexing. Nigga, we next in. Reckless. I get reckless. Half a million dollars or my diamonds on my necklace. Hammer. Can't touch this. Jesus can bless this. 10 on my checklist, 20 on my checklist.